now is time. Okay. Namam Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pastaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane, Namaste Sarasati Devi, Varavani Pucharine, Nirvishesha Sanyavadi, Paschacha Desha Tarine, Vanchakaupata Rubyascha, Kripa Sindhu Bhai Vacha, Patita Nam Pavani Dyo, Vaishnavi Bhyo, Namo Namaha. Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Kaur Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Gora Chandra Jaya Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Kaur Bhakta Vinda Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dutta Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda So we're telling the pastimes of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as described in the Madhya Leela of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. And we were hearing how Lord Chaitanya departed from Jagannath Puri to go on a tour of South India. Sometimes devotees, we also go to South India. From Jagannath Puri, you can get the train down to Tirupati. Mm, from Tirupati, then it's very close to Chennai, and from Chennai you can go further south. So, Lord Chaitanya was walking, he was, there were no trains, of course, 500 years ago. Lord Chaitanya was visiting all the temples on the way. So we heard how he went to Kurmakshetra, and then from Kurmakshetra he came to uh, Vishakap Vishakapatna, and so Lord Nishringa Dev, deity there, Vishakapatna. And then he went to uh, he went down to the Godavari River to a uh, to, to place on the Godavari River and he met Ramananda Rai. We, th there's a Gaudiya Math temple established at the place where Lord Chaitanya met with Ramananda Rai. The temple was established by uh, Om Vishnupad Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. Uh, uh, sorry, so, so, so this um, um, temple has been built up by. It was a, established. Temples. It was established by his, Om Vishnupad Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. 
OK， 那么这个庙里呢，它就是由 Om Vishnu Pat Bhakti Sanda Bhakti Sanda Swami Prabhupada 所建造的。嗯、uh, ，Krishna， 呃、uh, ，and just opposite on the other side of the Godavari at that place we have an ISKCON temple now。然后呢，现在是在 Godavari 河的对面呢，现在有一座 ISKCON 的庙。So。If you like to go traveling in South India, you can go around the ISKCON temples and see many of the holy places visited by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, 对呢，如果我们要是去南印度的话呢，我们就可以以,以这个 ISKCON 庙为中心，然后看到很多是 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 曾经所朝拜的圣地。So Ramananda Rai was a very senior official in the. Service of the King of Jagannath Puri. Ramananda Rai 呢，他是在呃 Jagannath Puri 的庙的呃国王的一位很显赫的代表的政府官员。So the king had sent Ramananda Rai to the southern region of the kingdom, ruled by the King of Puri, and he was overseeing the affairs there. 那那这个国王呢，他就南巡到这个南南印度这边去巡视，在南部王国的各方面的这些国家的事宜。And Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya had told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu it's very important to meet him that he's a very very special devotee. 那么，巴姆巴达查尔曾经告诉水杰丹尼玛巴布呢，说，罗曼丹的罗伊是一位很特别的奉献者，所以说呢，要见到他是一件很重要的事情。Sarva Bhuma Bhattacharya previously had laughed at Ramananda Rai because he thought he's just a sentimental Vaishnava. 但是，萨玛巴玛巴达查尔他曾经笑话过罗曼丹的罗伊，他说，你只不过是一位感情用事的 Vaishnava 而已。But after Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya met Lord Chaitanya and became also a Vaishnava, then he understood how very how Ramananda Rai was a very advanced devotee. 但是呢，当 Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya 遇到了水杰丹尼玛巴布，然后自己也变成了一位 Vaishnava 之后，他就明白了 Ramananda Rai 他是一位多么崇高的 Vaishnava 奉献者。The Acharyas. Reveal to us that Ramananda Rai in Krishna Lila is the Gopi Vishaka. Acharya 们向我们揭示说呢 ，Ramananda Rai 他在 Krishna 的逍遥时光中是 Vishaka Gopi. Vishaka is a very dear friend of Sri Mati Radharani. 而 Vishaka 呢是 Sri Mati Radharani 的一位很亲密的好朋友。And Lord Chaitanya is trying to cultivate the mood of Sri Mati Radharani. 而 Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 呢，他试图要嗯培养出 Sri Mati Radharani 所具备的那种心态。In the spiritual world, there there is Goloka Vrindavan, and there are Vaikuntha planets. 在灵性世界呢，有 Goloka Vrindavan， 还有 Vaikuntha 的星宿。Now to enter into Goloka Vrindavan, you have to have a special qualification. Different from, Vai, different from Vaikuntha. 但是如果想进入 Goloka Vrindavan 的话呢，就必须要有一种特别的资质。那么这种资质呢，和 Vaikuntha 的呃所具备的资质是不一样的。To go to Vaikuntha, you can have a relationship with Krishna either in neutrality or servant or friend or parent or conjugal love. To go to Vaikuntha or go to go to Vaikuntha. Ah, 如果要是去到 Vaikuntha 的话呢，那么你可以和 Krishna 之间所处在的这种关系是，要不然就中性的关系，要不然就是仆人的关系，要不然就是朋友的关系，或者是呃父母之爱的关系，或者是情侣之爱的关系。And the people, the devotees who go to Vrindavan, they they practice what is called. Um, Vaidhi Bhakti, which means they follow the rules and regulations. 
那但是要去到狗温的呃呃这个格罗格文大门的奉献者呢，他们会呃修习的是 Y D B D， 也就是说呢，他们会遵循这些规范和原则。But to go to into Goloka, you have to come to the platform of spontaneous devotional service, what is called Raga B D. 那刚才是去到外昆塔，但如果要是去到 Goloka 呢，那你就必须是要具备这种非常自发的要服务的这种心态，被称为叫 Raga Bhakti。So these things were appreciated by advanced devotees like Ramananda Rai and Lord Chaitanya。那么对这些事情呢，都是被像 Ramananda Rai 或者 Guru Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 这样非常高深精进的奉献者所。So in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj has given us some of the main topics which Lord Chaitanya and Ramananda Roy discussed with each other. So, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj Maharaj has given us some of the main topics which Lord Chaitanya and Ramananda Roy discussed with each other. So, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj Maharaj has given us some of the It is said that the activities of Lord Chaitanya can be compared to condensed milk. 嗯，是这样说的。Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 的活动呢，可以被比喻成是炼乳。And the activities of Ramananda Rai are like lumps of sugar candy. 而呃 ，Ramananda Rai 他的这个活动呢，就好像是呃一根甘蔗。Huh? Sugar candy. Ganja. Ganja. Oh, okay. Ganja. Sugar candy. Ganja tang. Ganja. Ganja tang. Candy. Sugar. That is ganja tang. Made of ganja. Made of tang. And then, when they, when Ramananda Rai and Lord Chaitanya discuss topics of Radha and Krishna, then it is like adding camphor into the mixture of condensed milk and sugar candy. 那么，当水彩丹尼亚摩哈帕布和罗曼丹纳罗伊在谈话的时候呢，就好像是把呃樟脑给加进了炼乳以及呃呃这个蔗糖之中。So the taste is very delicious. 那这样一来呢，就让这个味道变得非常的甜甜鲜美。Of course, I know you Chinese people. You don't much like sweet things. 但是我知道，咱中国人呢，可能不是特别的喜欢吃甜品。But uh, Indian people, they very much like sweet. 但是呢，印度人可喜欢吃甜品了。So when you have condensed milk mixed with sugar candy and add the camphor, oh, it's very, very tasty. 所以说呢，当把炼乳以及蔗糖还有樟脑。给加在一起的时候，哎呀，这个味道实在是太美味了。So this is what happens when Ramananda Roy and Lord Chaitanya are discussing topics of Radha and Krishna. 所以说呢，这也就是当 Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 和 Ramananda Roy 他们之间在探讨关于 Sri Radha 和 Krishna 的话题的时候所发生的结果。So. Ramananda Roy is especially qualified to be able to discuss these things. 但是呢 ，Ramananda Roy 呢，他是特别的具有资格能够探讨这样的话题。But when he speaks, he always gives the credit to Lord Chaitanya. 但是呢，当他在讲话的时候呢，他总是把这个归功劳归咎于主 Chaitanya. And he would say, "I don't know anything about topics of Krishna. I'm simply, I simply." Speak, because you make this. You make some sounds. You vibrate the sound that comes out from me. 会说呢，其实我对于关于 Sri Krishna 的话题是一无所知的。我之所以能够讲的原因呢，是由于您发出了这样震动的声音，然后呢，这个声音从我的身体里面传了出来。I'm just a your parrot. Whatever instructions you give me, I repeat. 我只不过是您的鹦鹉而已。无论您给我怎样的训示，我只不过是把它重复出来而已。You inspire me from the heart. 这您在内心中激励着我。I don't know if I'm speaking good or bad. 
And the, but then Lord Chaitanya says, well, I, all, I don't know anything. I'm a Mayavadi sannyasi. What can I understand about pastimes of Radha and Krishna? I only know Mayavadi philosophy. And then Lord Chaitanya says, because I had association with Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya, I have become enlightened a little. And when I asked Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya about loving service to Krishna, he told me, he said, go and see Ramananda Roy, he knows. So Lord Chaitanya said, this is why I've come here. I've come here to hear from you. You're just respecting me because I'm a sannyasi. That's only material. And then Lord Chaitanya gave very special instruction, which is very well known by devotees. The meaning is, what does not matter if you are a brahmana or a sannyasi or a sudra, whatever position you are in. You can become a guru if you know the science of Krishna. Somebody wants to initiate disciples, they have to be conversant with the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. They should study Bhakti Shastri, and after Bhakti Shastri, they should study Bhakti Vaibhava. Then Bhakti Vedanta. Then Bhakti Sarvabhoma. The idea is we have to study the books written by Srila Prabhupada. If we don't read Prabhupada's books, then you may get very confused about the philosophy. And if you're reading the books regularly, then it should not be difficult for you to take these courses. Now, many devotees in China are also taking Bhakti Shastri. That's very good. Bhakti Shastri is the first step. And, and generally, people who want to get second initiation, they should have completed the Bhakti Shastri course. If you haven't studied the Bhakti Shastri, then what is your, you don't have any qualification for the second initiation. 
。如果要是我们还没有开始学习 b a k i s a s t r i 的课程的话，那也就意味着我们根本就不具格、不具备获得二次启迪的资格了。Some devotees think, "Oh, I've been here five years, so I should get second initiation." 那有些奉献者说：“哦，我都已经在这儿五年了，所以呢，我应该得到二次启迪。” But we want to see what you know. What have you learned? 但是我们希望能够看到您都已经了解了哪些知识，都已经学到了些什么。Once you, you've said you've been coming for five years to associate with devotees, so you must have learned something. So you should be able to speak. 那么，既然您已经嗯、呃、和奉献者联系了五年，那也就意味着您应该是学习到了一些信息。那您也应该可以因为学到了一些信息而讲述了。If you're not going to speak, then you have to do the puja. You have to offer the RT. You have to do the brahminical work, either on the altar serving the deity or in the kitchen cooking. 但是如果要是不讲课的话呢，那么就至少要去从事呃婆罗门所从事的这个服务，也就是说呢，要进行阿提，要崇拜神像，或者是在神坛上崇拜神像，或者是在厨房里去进行烹制做饭这样的服务。The second initiation is given so that you can do more service. 嗯，而且呢，你得到这个启迪之后呢，这样你就可以去做更多的服务。Some people think now I'm second initiated. I should sit back and do nothing. No, this is not correct. Second initiation means we we do more service. So Lord Chaitanya told Ramananda Rai, he said. Don't think, don't think I'm a, a learned sannyasi. I don't know anything. 对，是一切的念法法布。对，罗曼达的罗伊说呢，你别觉得我好像什么都懂，我什么都不懂。I I just want you to tell me about Radha and Krishna. 哎，我只是想让你告诉我关于 Radha 和 Krishna 的信息。So hearing these words from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Rai was a little disturbed. He said, "I am just like a puppet." So, hearing the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 的这一席话之后呢，使得嗯 Ramananda Rai 的内心呢有一些被打扰。他说呢，我只不过是一个木偶而已。You are the you're controlling me. You're pulling the strings. 是您在控制着我，是您在牵着我手上，就是我牵着我的那个线。My tongue is just like a a a, a stringed instrument, and you are the player. 那我的这个舌头呢，只不过是一个呃带弦的乐器而已，而您是拨动这个弦乐的呃这个呃音乐者、音乐人。So whatever I say, it's coming because of. You from your your instructions. That so, so, 无论我说出了什么，全部都是因为您所给我的指导，所以我才说出来的。So Ramananda Rai begins to speak about Krishna. He says Krishna is the source of everything. All the incarnations, they all come from Krishna. 然后呢 ，Ramananda Rai 他就开始讲述关于 Krishna 的话题了。他说呢，这个呃 ，Krishna 讲述 Krishna 所有的。There's an infinite number of incarnations. 而且呢，是 Krishna 的化身呢是无限多的。And there's an infinite number of Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual world. 而且呢，而且在灵性世界的 Vaikuntha 星宿的数量也是无限多的。And in the material world, there's also an infinite number of universes. 而在这物质世界呢。宇宙的数量也是无限多的。And Krishna is the resting place of everything. 而 Krishna 呢，它是一切的栖息之所。Krishna's body is full of eternal, full of bliss and knowledge. 而 Krishna 的躯体呢，是永恒、极乐以及充满知识的。And he is the son of Nanda Maharaj. 他呢，是 Nanda Maharaj 的儿子。So Ramananda Rai is 
describes how in the spiritual world Krishna is worshipped by chanting the Gayatri mantra. Right. Krishna, in the spiritual world, we have to know how to worship him properly. So when we chant the mantras, we have to chant with pure love and devotion. We should know that Krishna attracts everyone, male and female, moving and not moving. To worship Krishna is a very special opportunity given to fortunate living entities. We were hearing about Krishna's pastimes with his devotees in the spiritual world, how he was in Goloka Vrindavan, he's dancing the Rasa Lila with the gopis. So each and every devotee, each and every gopi was thinking they're dancing with Krishna. Each and every devotee has a relationship, a personal relationship with Krishna. And Krishna is the object, he is the worshipable Lord for everyone. So there's a very special mood between Christ, all the gopis and Srimati Radharani. That the, all the gopis, they feel great pleasure when Radharani is with Krishna. They're very happy to see Krishna with Radharani. But Radharani, she likes to see Krishna with the gopis and she likes to give the gopis a chance to be with Krishna and she feels pleasure when she sees the gopis with Krishna. This, and, and Krishna feels pleasure also seeing the gopis and Radharani, how they have this mood that they want to please each other. So Krishna is so attractive that he attracts all the goddesses of fortune who are actually, they're the consorts of Lord Narayan, but they also become attracted to Krishna. And not only are the, uh, are the goddesses of fortune attracted to Krishna, but Lord Mahavishnu is attracted to, Ma, uh, to see Krishna. This is described 
by the pastime which comes in the tenth canto in relation to the, the Brahmana in Dwarka, whose wife had given birth to sons. But each son at the time of birth was there was a miscarriage. So the Brahmana came to complain to the palace, to the ruler's palace in Dwarka. I said, you're not protecting my wife. She's giving birth to children and they're all dying. So he blamed the king. So Arjuna happened to be there at the time. And he heard the Brahmana criticize the Kshatriya king. So Arjuna said, if your wife gives birth again, I will protect her. So when the Brahmana's wife was ready to deliver another child, Arjuna was guarding and he was trying to be there and to protect the, the Brahmana's wife and make sure the child's birth was proper. Arjuna had vowed that if he could not protect the child, he would give up his life. So when the Brahmin's wife was delivering her child, again the child miscarriage. So the Brahmana came to Arjuna and said, See, so much for your protection. You're, you're hopeless, you're useless, you should give up your life. So Krishna happened to be there and told Arjuna, he said, oh, he said, don't give up your life yet. He said, you come with me, we'll go and find the children, what happened to them. So Krishna went with Arjuna on his chariot and they went right out through the covering of the universe and they went into the abode of liberation. And there, Lord Mahavishnu is laying in the causal ocean. And they saw that Lord Mahavishnu was there and he had all the children of the Brahmana, they were also there with Lord Mahavishnu. So Lord Krishna and Arjuna went to see Lord Mahavishnu and Lord Mahavishnu worshipped them and he, and he thanked them for coming to see him. And Lord Mahavishnu explained, he said, I stole, I stole all the Brahmana's children because I wanted you and Arjuna to come and see me. I wanted to see both of you. So this shows how 
how attractive Lord Krishna is that even Lord Mahavishnu wants to see Krishna. And we see how the goddess of fortune, she desires to get association with Krishna. There's a prayer by there's a prayer in the tenth There's a prayer in the tenth canto Srimad Bhagavatam which is given by the, the wives of the Kaliya serpent. The Nagapatnis, they're called the Nagapatnis, the wives of the Kaliya snake. We know how Lord Krishna had danced on the heads of the Kaliya serpent. So the goddess, uh, the, the wives of the Kaliya snake, they offered prayers to Krishna. And they said, we don't know how our husband could be so fortunate that he could be touched by your lotus feet. And they said, the goddess of fortune, she did austerities for hundreds of years trying to get this opportunity. But she didn't get it. Although, although she did a lot of austerity and she had a strong desire, but she couldn't get the mercy of Krishna. She couldn't get the dust from his feet. But somehow our husband, this Kaliya snake, he got the mercy of Krishna. And Lord Krishna is so attractive that he attracts himself. One time when he was in the palace in Dwarka, he saw his own reflection and he wondered, oh, who is this person? What a wonderful person. <laughs> it was his own reflection, but he was saying, Oh, I'm so eager to embrace this person. So this is how Ramananda Rai explained about Lord Krishna, and then he's going to explain about Radharani. He explains about Lord Krishna has three energies. There's the spiritual energy, the material energy, and the marginal energy. Lord Vishnu is the spiritual energy, and living entities are meant to be also the spiritual energy. And then there are three potencies in the spiritual world. There's the Ladini Shakti, or the potency of bliss. 
Then there's the Sandini potency, which is for eternal existence, to maintain everything. And there's also the third potency is the Sambit Shakti, which is in relation to knowledge and knowing everything. So the Srimati Radharani, she personifies the Ladini Shakti, the bliss potency of the Supreme Lord. And through that Ladini Shakti, Krishna enjoys spiritual pleasure. Krishna is happy himself, but he gets more happiness through this Ladini Shakti. And the main part of that Ladini Shakti is a loving relationship with the Supreme Lord. Ladini Shakti and that loving ecstasy, this is Radharani. So, from all the gopis, it appears Radharani is the most important. She, she shows the, the highest ecstasy of love. Other gopis, they cannot compare to Radharani. She is the friend of Krishna and everybody knows about this. Radharani's body is a transformation of love of God. Hmm. So Radharani's her only business is to satisfy Lord Krishna. And all the gopis, they're all expansions of Radharani. And they all come to assist Radharani in her service to Krishna. It is said from the time of her birth, Radharani, when she was born, she didn't open her eyes. She, her eyes were closed. So her mother and father, Maharaj Vrishabhanu and Kirtida, they're in Farsana, and they came one day over to Goku to see Nanda and Yashoda. No, wait, I got it wrong. It was Nanda and Yashoda came to Varsana to see Maharaj Vrishabhanu and Kirtida. They had heard that Maharaj Vrishabhanu had a daughter, so they brought 
their child Krishna to see Vrishabhanu Maharaj's daughter. And as soon as Krishna came in front of Radharani, then Radharani opened her eyes. The first person she saw was Lord Krishna. She only has love, she only had wants to see Krishna, doesn't want to see any other man. So just see the quality of her chastity, how she is so chaste. And she is very deeply attached to Lord Krishna. When Krishna will go off to the forest in the morning, then she will feel pain of separation. Of course, all the, all the gopis were feeling separation when Krishna would go to the forest. So, her gopi friends, Radharani's gopi friends, they're all all part, in, they're also involved in the pastimes of Krishna. This way they're always thinking about association with Krishna. When Krishna goes off, they're thinking, when will he come back? So, it's a Sri Radharani's qualities are like a, a mine which is full of valuable jewels. We cannot compare the love of Radharani to any love which we know in the material world. And we see also devotees like Kubja. Now Kubja, she also had attraction for Krishna. She was very much attracted to Krishna. When Krishna came to Mathura, he had met Kubja and Kubja had given all of her sandalwood to Krishna. And she asked... Krishna she asked Krishna to come to her home, her house. Krishna said, oh, I'll come later, I have something to do first. We'll see you later. So Kubja, she also has love of Krishna, but her love is not like the love of the gopis. Because the gopis, they have pure love. So their love is compared to gold and the love of Kubja is compared to iron. So, everybody 
envies the gopis, and of all the gopis, the topmost gopi is Srimati Radharani. Even the goddesses of fortune, Lakshmi and the Parvati, the wife of Lord Shiva, they want to get Radharani's beauty and her qualities. And Vashishta, he has a very good chaste wife. His wife is called Arundhati. So she, Arundhati, she wants to get the chastity and the religious principles of Srimati Radharani. Even Krishna cannot understand the greatness of Srimati Radharani. They're beyond his power of his understanding. So in this way, Ramananda Rai was describing the qualities of Krishna and then Radharani. So Ramanan Lord Chaitanya then says, I want to know about how they enjoy together Radha and Krishna. You've told me about their individual qualities, but what about when they're together? So Ramananda Rai says, Krishna's business is sense gratification. He likes sense gratification. And he likes to control his girlfriends. He's very expert in joking with them and make give them some unnecessary anxiety. He, Krishna enjoys pastimes with the gopis in the forest of Vrindavan. And while he is still a young man, not very old, he was having these pastimes with, especially with Radharani. So, Rad Ramananda Rai then tells Lord Chaitanya, there's one more topic you may like to hear. You may like it, you may not. You may not be happy with it. This is a topic about very intimate pastimes between Krishna and Radharani. And Ramananda Rai then began to sing a song which he had written. But when he began to sing it, then Raman, Lord Chaitanya jumped up and he put his hand over the mouth of Ramananda Rai. He didn't want him to sing. Ramananda Rai 
他不想让他唱。The song was about very special dealings between Krishna and the gopis. 因为在这首歌他所唱的呢是 Krishna 和 gopi 们之间非常特别的一些活动。In the beginning, there's some separation. And then later on, then there's meeting. 那么在这歌最开始唱的呢是他们之间的分离，之后呢有一些相会。Sometimes Shrimati Radharani, sometimes she's in so much ecstasy for Krishna that when she sees something black, like the tamal tree, which is a black color, she thinks it's Krishna. And she will go and embrace the tree. That Sri Mati Rani, 呢，因为她开始她对呃 Sri 呃 Krishna 有这么多的依恋之情。然后呢，当她看到了一些黑色的东西的时候，比如她看到了这个塔帽树的时候，那她就觉得这是 Krishna， 所以她就想过去抱住这棵树。So when Lord Chaitanya heard this, he said, "Yeah, this is, this is the, the limit. This is the." Goal of human life to develop this kind of love. So Lord Chaitanya asked Ramananda Roy, "How can we achieve the goal?" So Ramananda Rai saying, anyway, hear the. I'm I'm not speaking. He said you're speaking through me, so you can hear my explanation, which is actually your explanation because you're speaking through me. Then Ramananda Rai said, "No matter how, it's not my speaking, it's you speaking through me." So, 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 So、the main thing is, don't hear from somebody who is not a devotee. You have to hear from someone who is a devotee. If you hear from a non-devotee, then it's very bad. That the 要点呢，就是说不要从一个非奉献者那里去聆听，必须要从一位奉献者那里去聆听。如果是从一位非奉献者那里去聆听的话，那就是非常呃不好的事情。We want to understand Radha and Krishna. You have to be in the mood of the gopis. It's not enough if you're just a servant or a family man or a government man. That if you're just a servant or a family man or a government man. That if you're just a servant or a family man or a government man. That if you're just a servant or a family man or a government man. That if you're just a servant or a family man or a government man. Only the gopis can understand these pastimes. Only the gopis can understand these pastimes. If we want to understand them, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. If we want to understand these pastimes, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. If we want to understand these pastimes, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. If we want to understand these pastimes, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. If we want to understand these pastimes, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. If we want to understand these pastimes, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. If we want to understand these pastimes, we have to follow in the mood of the gopis. So very confidential to understand these pastimes. So, 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 so,
So Ramananda Rai, he is explaining all of this for the pleasure of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We want to understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. We have to develop the mood of the gopis. They're the only ones. They're the only ones who can understand. Remember, gopis, they don't want to enjoy Krishna themselves. They want to see Krishna with Radha. That's their pleasure. Radharani is like the creeper of love of God. And the gopis, they're like the flowers and the leaves of that creeper. And when we put the nectar of Krishna's pastimes on that creeper, then it increases, it becomes greater and greater. Radha and his friends, the gopis, they never want to enjoy Krishna on their own. And Radharani tries to get Krishna to enjoy with the gopis. And Radharani gets more pleasure in separation from Krishna than she gets in being with Krishna. Yeah, when she's when she's coming to see Krishna or when there's when the union when they're separated from each other then Radharani is intensely absorbed in Krishna the natural desire of the gopis is to love Krishna so we said there's the lust like Kubja and there's the gold like the gopis. Okay, so we'll ask is there any questions here today? Okay, um, yes, Mark, but uh, you still have a couple of questions from yesterday. Oh, okay. What's the questions from yesterday? Yeah, let me, let me see. The first uh, question from, um, I think from uh, Subhuti Raya Prabhu, Dimbai Guru Maharaj. Uh, 
。那么如何理解 Rada Rani 的这样的心态呢？ Please accept my warm obeisances. Um, uh, from the previous lectures, I heard that uh, Sri Makira Rani really hoped to see the other devotees to do the service for Lord Krishna, and he, uh, and she doesn't have any jealousy or envy, and she even bring the devotees to Lord Krishna. However, from today's lecture, that uh, Sri Makira Rani, one, she see the gopis. To dance with Lord Krishna, he she showed a little bit angry and she left. So how to understand her mood from this lila? That is her mood like that is to give Krishna pleasure. She does she does she shows this anger and envy of doesn't like being there with all the other gopis because she knows Krishna wants to enjoy her company with. Well, without all these other gopis. 嗯，那那其实是关键。Rani 他所处的这种心态呢，他其实是嗯、呃，希望能够嗯、呃，让呃，就是其他的这些呃 gopi 们能够和 Krishna 在一起，然后呢，能让 Krishna 感到开心。因为他知道，如果要是他在那儿和呃这个 Krishna 在一起的话呢，那 Krishna 其实是想和他在一起，而不是和其他那些 gopi 们在一起的，所以他就离开了。She, Radharani's activities, her actions are all done for the pleasure of Krishna. 那么，所以，马蒂拉拉尼她所从事的所有的活动，全部都是为了要让 Krishna 开心。So her her leaving the rasa dance was for Krishna's pleasure. 那所以呢，她离开这个 rasa 之舞的舞场的原因呢，是为了让 Krishna 高兴。So that Krishna could be with Radharani privately. 那那，呃，那那这样呢？因为因为他离开了以后呢，那 Krishna 就可以和他单独在一起了。嗯。So the, all of the gopis, they're 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 all of the same mood that their business is to give pleasure to Krishna. 那所有的这些 gopis 们呢，他们其实所处在的心态都是一样，他们其实就是为了让 Krishna 高兴。In the presence of all the gopis. They add more variety to the pastimes. They give more pleasure. They uh, uh, allows more more lila and more pla pastime pleasure. 对呢，因为有所有的这些狗皮们在场呢，就使得呃这些消时光呢就变得更加的有滋味，就让这个消时光呢变得更加的呃就是呃就有更多的消时光可以上演。Without all the other gopis, if there's only Radha and Krishna. Then there's you don't you don't have all the pleasure you don't have all the dealings and the and the you know all these pastimes taking place you're just the, they're just the two of them there. 那如果要是只有 Radha 和 Krishna 没有其他的那些消时光的话，没有其他那些 Gopi 们在场的话呢，那也就意味着只有他们俩而没有其他那些事儿发生，那也就不可能有其他那些消时光的这些场情景发生了，那等于就没意儿没意思。So the presence of all the other gopis adds to the the the, the pleasure and the 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 lila and the creates the different pastimes for the the dealings between Radha and Krishna. 所以说呢，所有的这些嗯呃狗皮姑娘在这儿呢，就是为了要让这个 lila 嗯、呃、变得更加的有滋味。然后呢，使得 Radha 和 Krishna 之间的这个消时光呢，也变得更加的有趣儿。Some, sometimes Krishna's, sometimes Krishna's、uh, rejected by Radharani, and, and that's also for to increase the pleasure of meeting Krishna again. 那有的时候呢 ，Radharani 他会拒绝 Krishna。那其实这也是为了要让他们两人之间的再次相会变得更加的有意思。And sometimes it's announced Krishna's gone to Chandravali. He's there with Chandravali. He's not, you know. And then Radharani feels so he's gone to another gopi. He's not with me. 那有的时候呢，比如说 Krishna 他会去找 Chandravali， 
，那然后就会让 Shima 就让人在想，哦，他去找别的 Gopi 了，他又不来找我。So it increases the the pleasure in their loving exchange. 这样的话呢，就会使他们之间爱的这种互动和交流呢，就变得更加的炽烈，变得更加的加深。Is there another question? Yes, another question is. Uh, 对不起，我忘了这位，这个是从哪位奉献者那里的问题了，因为昨天忘了写这个奉献者名字。这问题是这样的，请问妈妈。当然，这个才是数不掉也跑不问的。就你现在念念这个是数不掉跑不问的。哦、oh, ，OK，OK、okay, okay.。那刚才那个问题是另外一位奉献者问的。那么现在这个问题是 s p o t i f y p r a b u 的问题。请问 Maharaj， 在呃 Ramananda Roy 给主 Chaitanya 的教导中，给我们的启示是什么呢？之前主 Chaitanya 呃教导苦马尔婆罗门留在家中，而这里说到木牛姑娘为了服务 Krishna 离开了家，我们应该追随哪一个呢？呃、uh, ，Maharaj， my question is that， 呃、uh, uh, ，from the Uh, the teaching in between of Ramananda Raya and uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what's the uh, revelation to us? Because uh, in Kumara uh, Brahmana's teaching, uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him to stay at home and become a spiritual master to teach and to preach. However, here for the gopis, um, Uh, because they want to render the service to the Lord, so they left their home. Uh, it seems that these two are, you know, two opposite the, the uh, you know, instructions. So who are the right one we need to follow? Which are the right one we need to follow? Yes, okay, so we have to understand that the gopis are uh, very special devotees, and when they go to the pastimes of Krishna, they go in their spiritual bodies. They don't go in their material bodies. They go in their spiritual bodies. Hmm. And Lord Krishna called them. To come and dance, he didn't tell them not to go home. Of course, they they went back. They they went to the、mm. they stayed in Vrindavan. They didn't leave home. They didn't just come with go everywhere with Krishna and follow Krishna everywhere. They stayed there in Vrindavan. 嗯，当当呃主 Krishna 把他们换来并且让他们回家的时候，他们其实就是回家了。他们并没有在。他们依然还是住在门大门，他们并没有跟着 Sri Krishna 到处跑，跟着他 Krishna 去哪儿他就去哪儿。And there's another pastime which comes in the tenth canto, where the wives of the brahmanas, the there was a, the yagna patnis, yagna patnis that there were some brahmanas doing a ritualistic yagya, and their wives came to see Krishna and Balaram, and they wanted to stay with Krishna and Balaram, but Krishna. Told them, no, you go home. Your husbands will take you. Go back. 嗯，然后在《圣女菩萨瓦腾》第十篇里面还有另外一段逍遥时光。那么这逍遥时光呢，就讲的是这些婆罗门的妻子们，呃，这个 Yagna Patna， 呃呃呃 Pat Pat 那 Yagna 那 Patnas， 就是他们在这个他们的这个婆罗门丈夫在进行这些祭祀的活动的时候，这些婆罗门的妻子们跑来见 Krishna， 并且呢，希望能够和 Krishna 在一起。然后 Krishna 就对他们说：“不行，你们得回家去。然后你们的丈夫呢，会嗯继续照顾你们，所以你们不能够和我们在一起。所以呢，他们就回家了。” So Krishna calls the gopis when he plays the flute. He calls the gopis to come and dance Rasalila. They go in their spiritual bodies. They don't go in with material body. 所以说呢，当 Krishna 呼唤这些狗皮们来和他进行 Rasa 之舞的这一宵时光的时候。嗯，狗皮们他们是以他们的灵性的躯体前来的，并不是以他们的物质的躯体来和 Krishna 跳舞的。And they remain in Vrindavan. They remain there with their families. 而且呢，这些狗皮们他们是留在了 Vrindavan 和他们的家人在一起。But Krishna also stays in Vrindavan. He 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 said Krishna is in the heart. He he hides himself in the hearts of all the gopis. 但是呢 ，Sri Krishna 他也留在了 Vrindavan。
据说呢 ，Krishna 他藏在了所有的孤僻们的心里。Yeah, Shamsundar Krishna is the the form of Krishna who is performing the pastimes with the gopis. Shamsundar Krishna stays in Vrindavan. 嗯，和孤僻们上演消时光的这位 Krishna Krishna， 他的这个形象呢是 Shamsundar Krishna。And Vasudev Krishna, he is the one who's killing the demons, and he goes to Mathura, and then goes to Dwarka, and marries all the queens. That's Vasudev Krishna. 而嗯、uh, ，Vasudev Krishna 是那位去到马图拉，而且也是那位杀死了所有的这些恶魔，然后呢，后来又去到了 Dwarka 和 Dwarka 的所有的这些皇后们结婚的那位 Krishna。So Vasudev Krishna is the form of Krishna from the that is Krishna in Vaikuntha, but Shamsundar Krishna is Krishna in Goloka. 而嗯嗯，这个呃呃，呃 Vasudev Krishna， 他是来自于 Vaikuntha 的 Krishna 的形象，而呃 Shamsundar Krishna 呢是来自于 Goloka 的 Krishna。Okay, so we say for for all the gopis, there's no desire of sense gratification. They only want to give pleasure to Krishna. So, 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 Every, it's all done. Everything is for Krishna's pleasure. In the Gopi Gita, there's a nice verse that describes how the gopis pray to Krishna. 在《Gopi Gita》里面有一有一首非常动听的诗节，这里面就描述了 Krishna 如何，呃，这些 Gopi 们如何向 Krishna 祈祷。Yate sajata charanam buruham staneshu budva shane priyadadi mahikar kageshu tena tavam tasitad yata tena kimsvet Korpa di bir brahmati bir bhavada yashamna. The gopis are worried about Krishna being in the forest. That his feet are very soft, and there's many stones and thorns, and his soft feet will be in pain. 嗯，呃 ，gopi 们非常的担心在森林中的呃 Krishna， 因为呢，他的足，他的莲花足是如此的柔软稚嫩。而在这个地方，在森林里面呢，有很多的荆棘，有很多的碎石，有很多的这个啊扎脚的这个沙粒，所以一定会伤着他的柔软的莲花足的。And if Krishna's feet are feeling pain, then the gopis are feeling also pain. That oh, this is not good. The gopis are worried, worried about Krishna. 所以，如果是 Krishna， 他要是感到疼的话，那 gopi 们也会感到非常的心痛。So you want to go to Goloka Vrindavan? You want to be with Krishna? You have to develop the mood of the gopis. It has to be that spontaneous love. So, if you want to go to Goloka Vrindavan and be with Krishna, then you have to develop the mood of the gopis. It has to be that spontaneous love. So, if you want to go to Goloka Vrindavan and be with Krishna, then you have to develop the mood of the gopis. It has to be that spontaneous love. So, if you want to go to Goloka Vrindavan and be with Krishna, The gopis don't know Krishna as God. They only know Krishna as the son of Nanda Maharaj. Gopi 们他们并不知道 Krishna 是神，他们只知道 Krishna 是 Nanda 王的爱儿。Now, if you only want to love Krishna because he's God, that's Vaikuntha. That's not Goloka Vrindavan. 但是如果你要是因为只是 Krishna 是神而想去爱他的话，那么这样的心态呢是在。You, I hope you don't mind having a boyfriend who is a cowherd boy. I hope you don't mind, huh? Eh? Then I hope you don't mind having a boyfriend who is a cowherd boy. I hope you don't mind, huh? Then I hope you don't mind having a boyfriend who is a cowherd boy. I hope
对，我希望我希望你不介意有一个作为牧牛童的男朋友。You know, cowherd boys, you know, because they're with the cows all day, they always smell of cows. All their clothes smell of cows, you know, and they'll smell of cows. You know, and so you're going to be with them all the time. You'll smell the cows. 那因为这牧牛童呢，一整天都和牛在一块儿，所以呢，他这一身上都是这个牛身上的味道，他的衣服也都是牛身上的味道。所以，如果你要是有一个牧牛童的男朋友的话呢，你自己这身上也会变成牛的味道了。But remember, Krishna and Krishna's got a lot of cows. 现在我们要记得 ，Krishna 有好多好多的乳牛。I don't know if Krishna smells of cows, but <laughs> he's a cow boy. <laughs> 但是我不知道 Krishna 他是不是身上也是这种牛的味道。但是 Krishna 他就是一个母牛童。Sometimes we say the 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 Krishna's body has smells like kasturi. Kasturi is a very special aroma, special oil fragrance, and they say that's the aroma of Krishna's body. 嗯，那有的时候呢，我们知道 Krishna 他的这个身体所散发的这种芬芳呢，被称为叫 kasturi 的这种芬芳。那这是一种很特别的一种香氛的味道。Now, an interesting example was given about the personified Vedas. The personified Vedas also wanted to develop love like the gopis. 那有这么一个很有意思的例子，就是《韦达经》的人格化身，他也希望能够培养出勾皮们对 Krishna 的这种爱恋的情怀。So they had to also develop this mood of spontaneous love. So, 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 The 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 same mood, the spontaneous attraction for Krishna. Because, 呢，他们只是让自己试着处于 Gopi 的心绪之中，但是呢，只是这种尝试的处于 Krishna 的这个 Gopi 的心绪中是不够的，没有办法足够的让他去培养出对 Krishna 的自发的爱。So what they did finally was they gave up their bodies and they took birth in the family of Gopis, and they actually had Gopi bodies. And in the body of a gopi, then they could become like fall the gopis. That's why they how do they do? They finally just give up their body, and then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. And then they can be born in the family of gopis. You have to give up your body and take birth in Braja and become a gopi. 所以说呢，在内心中只是有这种 gopi 的心态还不够，必须得先要放弃躯体，然后呢，在 Braja 投生，然后呢，重新得到一个 gopi 的躯体才可以。Then we actually qualify to follow in the footsteps of the gopis. 这样我们才能够真正的具有追随 gopi 的莲花足迹的。So the personified Vedas, they did like that. They took birth in the families of gopis, and they all became gopis, and they were able to take part in Krishna's rasa lila. So just following regulative principles that will get you to Vaikuntha. But if we want to get into Goloka Vrindavan, we have to develop love for the son of Nanda Maharaj. We don't get Krishna just by doing austerities or just by being a great scholar. Because we 
We have to develop the mood of the gopis. And that means to think about the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. So then after thinking about Radha and Krishna for a long time and getting free from material contamination, then can go to the spiritual world. And then in the spiritual world we have a chance to serve Radha and Krishna as a gopi. But if we are attached to knowledge, uh, we are attracted by the opulence of the Lord, then we cannot we cannot get the shelter, the real shelter of the Lord's lotus feet. Knowledge of the Lord's opulence. Okay, and we see the example of the goddess of fortune. She worshipped Krishna to, to, to join his pastimes in Vrindavan. But she has an opulent lifestyle. So she could not get the service of Krishna in Vrindavan. So even beautiful women in the material world. They don't get to dance with Krishna and Rasalila. Even the beautiful women from the heavenly planets don't get that pleasure. So when Ramananda Rai was explaining all this to Lord Chaitanya, they embraced each other and they both began to cry. They spent the whole night together talking about Krishna. In the morning, they went, went back to do their duties. So, Lord Chaitanya, he wants to go to South India, but before he leaves, Ramananda Rai comes and he falls at the feet of Lord Chaitanya. And he begs Lord, Ch and he begs Lord Chaitanya, he says, please stay here for at least 10 days and purify my mind. But Lord Chaitanya said, I have come to hear about Krishna from you and purify my mind. So now I know your glories. I, I, what everybody told me about you, it's all confirmed. Lord Chaitanya said, Why should I only just stay 10 days? I want that you, we should always be together. 
。然后是他他那妈妈我说为什么我只在这待十天呢？我希望我们俩人能永远在一起。You come to Jagannath Puri and we will stay together and we will talk about Krishna and his pastimes. 嗯，你呢来到 Jagannath Puri， 然后我们能一起来共同探讨 Sri Krishna 的小时光。So Lord Chaitanya stays more days there, and every day they would have questions and answers. This is how they would discuss devotional service. Lord Chaitanya would put questions, and Ramananda Roy would answer. So, Um, very interesting questions. Lord Chaitanya asked Ramananda Roy, of all types of education, which is the most important? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Ramananda Roy, in all types of education, which is the most important? Correct. So, who knows the answer? So, please, which one of the participants knows the answer? What's the most important education? 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 Yeah, right. Yes, transcendental devotional service to Krishna. That's real education. Yeah, we want to hear about Krishna. And then Lord Chaitanya asked, Of all different glorious activities, what is the most glorious? And the answer is. That one should be a devotee, the one who is a devotee. That's the most glorious of all. And then Lord Chaitanya said, "What is the greatest rich wealth? What is the great, you know, many?" Many uh, capitalists have a lot of wealth and money. So, what is the greatest wealth? The greatest wealth is. Who wants the greatest wealth? Daishua, what shall I? Yeah, love for Radha and Krishna the I, Radha and Krishna the I. Right, love for Radha and Krishna. That's. 对 Radha 和 Krishna 的爱。And what's the most painful thing? 最痛苦的是什么？痛苦。最痛苦的是什么？ Se separation from the devotee of Krishna. That's the most unbearable separation, unbearable distress, unhappiness. That. 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 So like this, Lord Chaitanya and Ramananda Roy, they were asking. They were Lord Chaitanya was putting many questions. That. 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 That.
呃，向 Roman and Roy 提出了很多问题。What should be constantly remembered? 还有什么是需要恒常不断的被记住的事情？就是哪件事情是被需要被恒常不断的记住的？ We should always remember Krishna's holy name. 就是应该时刻的记住 Krishna 的圣名。And when we meditate, what should we meditate on? 那么当我们在冥想的时候，我们应该冥想什么呢 ？The lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. 我们要冥想 Radha 和 Krishna 的莲花足。And where should we live when we give up? All other places. Which place should we go and live? 那么当我们放弃了所有其他的地方的时候，我们应该在什么地方去生活呢 ？We should go to Vrindavan. 我们应该去到 Vrindavan. Stay where Krishna performed Rasa Lila. 我们应该去到那个地方，就是 Sri Krishna 他上演他的 Rasa Lila 逍遥的地方。And what is the most worshipable object? What's the the best, the most, the best of all worshipable objects? What? 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 Radha 和 Krishna 的圣名，换句话说呢，就是我们的 Maha Mantra， 或者 Krishna 的 Mantra。Mm. So this this is the the how Lord Ramananda Rai and Lord Chaitanya passed their time hearing. 这这就是嗯，是 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 和 Ramananda Rai 他们在一起的时候如何共度他们的时光的方式。Sometimes they would chant and dance. Sometimes they would cry. They, they would spend the whole night together. 那有的有的时候呢，他们会唱诵；有的时候他们会一起跳舞；然后有的时候呢，他们会哭泣。他们一整晚都在一起。And during the day they go and do their work, and then at night they come back and be together again. 然后在白天的时候呢，他们又各自去忙活自己的。工作职责，然后到晚上的时候呢，他们又一在又聚集在一起。So Ramananda Rai wants to get Lord Chaitanya's approval. 呃，那然后呢 ，Ramananda Rai 呢，希望得到 Sri Chaitanya m a h a p r a b h 的允许。He said, "You have instructed me in everything from the heart, just like Brahma got instruction from Krishna. You have spoken to my heart for, through my heart." So Ramananda Roy said, "I just have one doubt." He said, "I have one doubt." He said, "But first, I saw you appear like a sannyasi." But now I see you like a cowherd boy, like Sham Sundar, the cowherd boy. I see you. Like a golden doll, your body is covered with this golden luster. Hmm. And I see you like a golden doll. Your body is covered with this golden luster. 
And you have a fluid in your mouth. You're holding a fluid. So Ramananda Rai says to Lord Chaitanya, I keep seeing you in this way. So can you tell me what is causing this? Why is it like this? So Lord Chaitanya told him, he said, because you have so much love for Krishna, so one who has such love for Krishna, they see Krishna everywhere. This is like the Mahabhagavat devotee, like Prahlad Maharaj, everywhere they see Krishna. Right. Haranyakashipu is asking Prahlad Maharaj, where is your God? You say he's everywhere, he's in here. And Prahlad said, yeah, he's here. And this way Lord Nishingadev appeared to Haranyakashipu. So Lord Chaitanya is explaining to Ramananda Rai that you know this is due to your love of Krishna that you're seeing all you're seeing Krishna everything and you're seeing Krishna everywhere. Because you're an advanced devotee, you have natural love for Radha and Krishna. Therefore, whatever you see, it awakens your Krishna consciousness. But Ramananda Rai says to Lord Chaitanya, I said, do not conceal your real form from me. Stop speaking all of this philosophy to me. I I can understand that you have take you have assumed the ecstasy and the thin complexion as Radharani. And that's why you have appeared as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You want to taste the spiritual bliss of which Radharani experiences. And at the same time, you're spreading love of God. And somehow you have appeared before me to benefit me, to give me liberation. And Ramananda Rai says, Krishna is the reservoir of pleasure. And Radharani is the form of love of God. And these two have become one in your form as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So at that time, Lord Chaitanya appeared as Radha and Krishna to Ramananda Roy. 
所以呢，就在这一刻的时候呢，所以 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 呢，他就以 Radha 和 Krishna 的形象显现在了 Ravana Rai 的面前。Right, we say Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahi Anya. 那我们说 Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Ahi Ranya. Radha Krishna. Radha Krishna. Nahi Anya. Nahi Anya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna, Nahi Anya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha Krishna, Nahi Anya. Yeah, right. Meaning. Lord Chaitanya is not different from Radha and Krishna. And Lord Chaitanya showed this to Ramananda Roy. The two Lord Chaitanya is there, and then he saw also Radha and Krishna came. They both came from the body of Lord Chaitanya. So Ramananda Roy, when he saw Radha and Krishna, then he fell on the ground unconscious. So when Ramananda Roy saw Radha and Krishna, he fell on the ground unconscious. But Lord Chaitanya took his hand and immediately became conscious. 但是呢，是查探亚马法布抓起了他的手，他立刻又恢复了他的知觉。And then he saw Lord Chaitanya as a sannyasi. 然后呢，他这会儿看到的是是查探亚马法布的 sannyasi 的形象。And Lord Chaitanya told him, "No one has ever seen this form before. You're the only one." 是查探亚马法布对他说呢，在之前从来没有任何一个人看见过这个形象，你是唯一见到这个形象的人。Lord Chaitanya told me, "You know everything, so I've shown this form to you." Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "Because you are aware of all this, so I will show this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." Lord Chaitanya said, "Actually, it's my body that's showing this form to you." But she does not touch anyone except for the son of Nanda Maharaj. So Lord Chaitanya said, "I changed my body into the ecstasy of Radharani." 那所以说呢，所以查探长妈妈说呢，我就把我的这个躯体更换在了呃，所以马提拉拉尼的极乐之中。So in this way, Lord Chaitanya revealed his identity to Ramananda Roy. 所以呢，用这样的方式，所以查探长妈妈不把他的这个身份揭示给了 Ramananda Roy. So Lord Chaitanya told Ramananda Roy, "Don't tell anyone about this. Keep this all confidential." 然后，去查探的妈妈会对罗曼娜的罗伊说呢，不要把这件事情跟任何人去讲，你一定要把它作为一个很高的机密，把它藏起来。Lord Chaitanya said, "I'm just like a madman, and you are also a madman. We're, we're on the same platform." 去查探的妈妈会，去查探的妈妈会说呢，我呢就是一个疯子，而你呢也就像是一个疯子，所以咱俩呢是处在一个层面上的。Just like devotees, you know, people often say about devotees, "You people are crazy. You're mad." No, they said the same about Lord Chaitanya, Ramananda. So, 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 they also use the same way to talk about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy. They're the most exalted persons, and people thought they're crazy. 但是他们其实是最崇高的人物，但是人们却觉得他们是疯子。Okay, any questions? Yes, Marge, here is a question. 呃，福福州的苏尼提马太吉有一个问题。哦，好吧。啊，苏日苏尼提马太吉，你注意听啊。
不如回答你的问题。那请问咕噜，请嗯，呃，在什么时候展示出来的哭泣是灵性的哭泣？嗯，所以你所以你嘛，其实 question is that， 嗯、uh, ，when the cry the weeping is considered as the spiritual weeping。When we cry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when, yeah, when the cry is considered as the spiritual cry. When is it considered spiritual? Well, when yeah. we're cry, when we're crying for Krishna, that's very, that's spiritual. 那么，当我们为 Krishna 而哭泣的时候，这个哭泣就是灵性的哭泣。And if you're crying because of your lack of Krishna consciousness, that's also very good. 那如果我们要是因为觉得自己缺少克什纳知觉而哭泣的话，这个哭泣也很好。We want to develop more Krishna consciousness. We we feel ourselves very unfortunate. 那如果我们要是希望能够培养出更多的克什纳知觉，觉得自己是非常的不幸的话，这样的哭泣是好的。That we're not able to progress in Krishna consciousness. 那我们觉得自己呃缺少 Krishna 知觉，可是，在 Krishna 知觉中呢，也没有办法取得进步。That we want Krishna consciousness very badly and we can't get it, we should cry. 如果我们要是特别想要得到 Krishna 知觉，可是又得不到的话，这会儿我们就应该哭。So are you crying for for is your crying spiritual? 所以说，苏内蒂玛拉吉，你是在呃为了这个灵性的事而哭吗 ？If you're crying that oh I don't have food, I don't have money, I don't have anybody to love me, then that's material. 那真的，如果要是为了呃我没有钱，我没有吃的，或者没有人爱我，为这事而哭的话，那这就是物质的哭。But Krishna loves everyone. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of Krishna. We're neglecting Krishna. But we're not taking care of 就比如说，有些人呢，他是明知道是毒，他还要去喝这个毒药。So, yeah, very unfortunate. We should cry. 那所以说呢，我们非常的不幸，所以我们应该哭。Very unfortunate that we wasted our human life and we didn't develop love for Krishna. 那我们非常的不幸，因为我们在浪费我们人类的躯体，我们并没有去培养对 Krishna 的爱。Is it clear, Suniti? Suniti Ma Ji， 这样清晰吗 ？Suniti 还是 Suruchi？ 谁问 ？Suniti， 还是 Suniti？Suniti，Suniti，Suniti， 妈妈， Suniti. 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 明白吗？他不在这个房间，他在企业直播，呃，企业微信直播里面在看。OK， 那里 OK OK， 呃，苏苏内蒂玛吉，呃 ，she is not in this chat room， she is， 呃、uh, ， hearing the lecture from another another channel， so， uh， so so she is not able to answer your question directly， okay, okay. has to through John Kapoor、mm-hmm.。那庞博，你那边还有问题吗？因为这边还有个问题。好好，你在念这边的，那边没有了。OK。Now, Marge, here is the question from Puspa Sara Mataji. 顶拜 Guru， 顶拜所有的奉献者。请问 Guru Maharaj， Vishnu 和 Krishna 的关系是什么 ？Please accept my verbal obeisances、uh, to you and to all the devotees. My question is that what are the how the Lord Vishnu and Krishna related to each other? Uh huh. We're going to hear more about that when we go to Sri Rangam, because in Sri Rangam. The devotees there are from the Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, which comes from Ramanuja. 嗯，那那我们去到 Sri Ranga 的时候呢，会就这个话题聆听更多的消息信息。因为呢，在 Sri Ranga 那儿的奉献者呢，他们是来自于嗯 Sri 嗯 Sri Sampradaya。那这 Sri Sri Sampradaya 呢，是由
But generally we say uh, Vishnu and Krishna are the same. Vishnu is the opulent form and Krishna is playful. Krishna enjoys playing with all the devotees. So there are four special opulences which are found in Krishna which are not in Vishnu. One is Krishna's flute playing attracts people all over the universe. The second thing is Krishna is always with his devotees. The third thing is he performs very wonderful pastimes. And the fourth thing is his very, very exquisite beauty. Now Vishnu is also beautiful, but Krishna has a special beauty because Krishna's Krishna's uh, in the in the mood of Vrindavan. Vishnu is more opulent. And the opulence creates a distance between Vishnu and the devotees. But Krishna is in, in Vrindavan, he's from the, the, cow, the cow boy, he's got a peacock feather in his hair and a garland of forest flowers. Krishna is very, very simple, natural. That you can easily approach Krishna and he, that everything is very pleasing and sweet. Not like, uh, back, not like uh, with Vishnu where it's Vaikuntha and it's very opulent. We are speaking also on the Brihad Bhagavat Amrita every Tuesday morning. We speak on the Brihad Bhagavat Amrita and we tell about Kumar. A cowherd boy from Govardhan. And we hear when he went to Vaikuntha how everything has to be exactly according to the rules and regulations. And you can't get too close to Lord Vishnu. Gokumar, he always wants to run forward and embrace Lord Vishnu. But the people of Vaikuntha, they would hold him back. They say, no, no, you can't do that here. So the rules and regulations are more prominent in Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha 
Lord Vishnu is worshipped there in Vaikuntha. But in in Goloka, Krishna is worshipped, and, and Krishna wants spontaneous love. Hmm. Okay. So Yeah. Uh, yeah the next question. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The next question from Yeah, let me send so much. Uh, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramadan Rai went out together, why they are crying with each other? Because they are two Prabhus. What's the reason to make them cry? Well, they are crying in ecstasy, in ecstasy of love of Krishna. Remember, Lord Chaitanya is in the mood of Radharani. And we said Ramananda Rai is actually the Gopi Vishaka. So in their spiritual bodies, they're in the mood of Gopis. And so they're shedding tears. Their, their tears are of love. Their tears are, are it's not pain, it's not suffering, but the, this is ecstasy, the tears of love. When the tears are the, when the tears are very hot, then these are the tears of passion. But when the tears are cool, cool and water, that's the tears of pure love. Yeah. Yeah, the next question from Manini Radha Mataji, Dimbai Maharaj. Uh, Please accept my verbal obeisances. If we decorate the Lord, if we decorate the Lord Garanga with the uh, peacock feather, will that be the bothersome to the mood of the Lord? Well, there are different opinions about this. Some people say that Lord Chaitanya is in the mood of the devotee. So as a devotee of Krishna, he wouldn't wear the peacock feather. But other people say, no, it's all right. Lord Chaitanya also revealed himself to the, as the Supreme Lord. He sat on the throne in the home of Srivastakur. He sat on the throne of Vishnu and he revealed himself to all the devotees. So Prabhupada never objected to us putting peacock feathers on Lord Chaitanya. So you can put peacock feathers on if you like. Uh
هری بابا هر بابا ما تو سن بابا هری کشنا تین دادا ما <音>我能听见现在能听见了刚才听不见这边的主派的马太吉问感恩咕噜我们处在不同的阶段那奉爱的心态也是不一样的而对于拉曼南德瑞跟主谈论勾皮和幸运女神不同的心态是奉爱层
for the last moment while we're leaving our body, who actually is the object we need to meditate on? Shall we meditate on Lord Gauranga or uh, Sri Radha Krishna's lotus feet or Sri Krishna's lotus feet or only Sri Matirarani's lotus feet? Well, it's up to you which particular deity you have developed the mood of loving devotion. Generally, sorry. Generally, we will worship Gornitai, Lord Chaitanya, because he's very merciful. Lord Chaitanya is the, the av Kali Yuga avatar and he's come to give Krishna consciousness to everyone. And if Lord Chaitanya wants, he can direct us to serve Radha and Krishna. Srila Prabhupada says people in Vrindavan, they all seek the blessings of Radharani. And Srimati Radharani can introduce us to Krishna. So we have to approach uh, Lord Chaitanya and we, get the, we approach Lord Chaitanya through Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda is the representative of the spiritual master. He's the original spiritual master. So we worship, we approach Lord Nityananda and by the mercy of Lord Nityananda, we come to Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya, he can take us to Radha and Krishna. So we're quite satisfied to get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya with the Sankirtan movement, the Sankirtan movement, the chanting of the Holy Name. So we want to meditate on the Holy Name at the time of leaving the body. And that holy name is given to us by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Hmm. Marge, here's one more question here. Yeah. From uh, Manini Radha Mataji. Maharaj, you mentioned that the most difficult thing is to let go of the attachment to the devotee. Um, and when, when the, you know, when the senior devotee left one place to another place, the new devotee, and also for the new devotee in this area, not very well developed yet, uh, how can we, you know, handle that kind of situation? We have to handle that situation by taking shelter of the instructions of the senior devotee. Well, 
the, the senior devotees who are initially there, they give instructions and they set the standards and they tell you what we want to do. So they set up a, 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 a situation, you want, to continue, you want to follow their example, follow the program which they establish and keep it going. And we associate by the the physical presence is not eternal, but we associate by instruction. That's why we read Prabhupada's books. We feel connection to Srila Prabhupada by reading his books and by remembering his teachings. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Marge. Any other question there? Uh not in this list here. So okay, so we'll Guru Guru Maharaja, well you went to Kayti Jama. Uh quiet yeah. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><